Hi guys, Crad here. In this video I want to talk about Sunshine Titanium. So, Sunshine Titanium is a... Uh, it's an individual, um, Frank, based out of Florida. He makes a lot of really uh, cool and interesting gadgets, not only out of titanium, but out of steel, um, brass, copper, all of the cool metals, you know. Um, this is actually something that I've had uh, from Sunshine Titanium that I've carried for years now and this is the stainless steel tube picks so this is uh, the toothpick case it comes in titanium and likely those other metals that I mentioned before and it comes in different versions one has um, the same kind of top that this has where you can put it on a keychain this one I just uh, throw into uh, the hidden pocket in my vertex pants uh, make sure it doesn't fall out it stays there and it holds um, toothpicks, including my titanium toothpick. And it's, it's just a neat case, especially if you're a, a toothpick junkie and something that you always have on you. For years, I don't think I was uh, seen without a toothpick in my mouth. Uh, this actually has a little o-ring here too, which will help keep moisture from getting in and affecting the, the toothpicks. So here I need to ask him what kind of clip this is. It wouldn't surprise me if this is something like a, a McGizmo clip, which I believe is actually made out of titanium. Um, I'll have to ask Frank about that and uh, maybe post it in the video. But he makes several pins. This is the titanium mini pin. So let me show this to you here. This actually saved me today. Um, the pin that I normally write with is a uh, Felholtler tie bolt. And the ink cartridge in that uh, gave up on me when I was taking some notes today. And um, having this in my wallet um, allowed me to, to get through the rest of class. So it has uh, two O-rings on the back, the cap fits nicely over that, and then the two O-rings hold it in place without the need to um, thread that down or have unsightly threads on the back. The back actually unscrews, and there's a very small but um, robust uh, kind of high capacity for the size ink cartridge. And this is a great little titanium pen. Um, really cool to have when you need it. The only thing um, I would like to see, I, I believe that uh, Frank actually said that if I wanted more grip, um, he has a version that has uh, carbon fiber overlaid over the handle, and that would uh, give the pen more grip. Maybe having um, some grooves milled into it along the, the barrel of the titanium would help if you don't go with the, the carbon fiber option. I was uh, tr trying to just get all titanium um, keychain type items, so I didn't go with the carbon fiber when it was offered. This here is uh, the mini cash can. You may have seen an earlier video where I had one in brass that's DLC coated. This is my wife's. Uh, she carries it on her keychain every day. And let me show you how this works here. So either with an O-ring or um, if you have one of these kind of keychain holders, it'll just go right through um, the little clip at the top. Um, that that goes through the, the keychain hole. And then as long as something is in this uh, hole, the, the cash can can't come apart. But with nothing there, you just push in on the top and it slides the the spindle out and then wrapped around the spindle is um, your stash so this has actually come in handy for me on a few different occasions most recently was when I was moving from Hawaii to Connecticut I flew into uh, Newark New Jersey and I needed to get to the vehicle processing center where I'd ship my car to from Hawaii um, that is about maybe half an hour away so when I left the airport um, they had a, a long line of taxi cabs waiting there, uh, ready to pick people up. 
And they had a sign saying, you know, that they accepted Visa, MasterCard, all that good business. So I was like, okay, that's not a problem. Um, I got in the cab, we took it to the vehicle processing center, and we got there. And uh, the cabbie asked for his money. I tried to give him a card, and he's like, no, I can't take that. So I looked around uh, for an ATM. Needless to say, there was none nearby. I would have had to have gotten back into his car, um, taken, you know, taken the cab to a gas station to find an ATM to get the money to pay him not only for the trip from the airport but the trip to the gas station and then back to the vehicle processing center again. But um, because of the cash can, I had enough money on me that I was able to pay the cab fare and uh, even give a tip. And then I just had to be sure to refill this at the, you know, the next opportunity. So this is a really great thing to have. Uh, when you get one of these uh, from Frank at Sunshine Titanium, it actually comes with a $2 bill uh, wrapped around the spindle, and those are your folding instructions. So you just sort of reverse engineer that $2 bill, and uh, you'll know how to fold whatever else you might have on there. And uh, actually with the brass one, I've had it for a very long time, and brass is, you know, a relatively soft material, and at some point I somehow got it pinched. I got the the can itself pinched to where I couldn't get the spindle out. I don't think that'll happen with the titanium being uh, a good bit harder. Um, but I, I sent that back to Frank, and I don't know what kind of magic he worked, but he got the den out and uh, returned to me the $100 bill along with a serviceable cash can. So... That's uh, my really great customer service story with Sunshine Titanium. He makes some really cool products um, out of some really cool metals. He really fills um, an interesting and often ignored uh, niche. Great customer service made in America. What more can you ask for? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.